Hi, welcome to Mom's Trinity Cooking. Today I will be making coconut drops. If you want to see how I make my coconut drops, keep watching. For this recipe today, these are the ingredients that you will need. Four cups of freshly grated coconut. And if you can't get the fresh one, by all means, you can buy the unsweetened one in the packages or the bulk. Four cups of white flour. One and a half cups of white sugar one tablespoon of vanilla essence or mixed essence, one teaspoon of butter, three quarter cups of raisins, one teaspoon of grated nutmeg. I have the whole one and the little piece here that you can see, and but I'm gonna use the grated one that I bought at the bulk store. One teaspoon of bacon powder. You don't want a lot of bacon powder because that will help it to soften up. And this, this drops usually is dense and hard, rough. So you want to put less more in stir as you can. Also, you will need half a cup of water to help knead it. It's going to be a tough kneading, but the half a cup of water might do it. And also, I like to keep a little bit on the side for my snack as I go along. I'm going to just add all my ingredients to the bowl now. I like to portion it out when I put it in the bowl so I can actually see what it looks like here. So usually that's what the three things look like. The other three, the sugar, the coconut, the sugar, and the flour. It's portioned like that. That, and that helps me to know it looks good. The raisins. The nutmeg, bacon powder, the butter, the essence. So this is what it's supposed to look like and then I'll start my mixing process. I'm going to be mixing all the dry ingredients together. I'll add the water as I go along but now I'm just mixing everything together here like this. Okay, I'm gonna start adding the water to it now, but before we do, this is the texture. The texture is supposed to be like crumbly like this, and then you add your water and just start your mixing process. I've finished kneading it together. This is what the mixture is supposed to look like. It's really dry. See, like it's, it's dry like that. It's moist, but it's dry. So I have a, a greased baking sheet here that I'm gonna place them in now. And I have the oven on at 350. We'll be putting them in the oven for around maybe 30 to 40 minutes. And I have some cherries I'm gonna use to garnish it just for it to look pretty when we're finished. As we go along, I'll show you what I'm doing. So this is how I place it. You put it on the sheet like this, and the rougher it looks, it's nicer when it comes out. Like if it's not rough enough, you can just do like that or whatever. And put a little indent in there for your cherry.
that's it i think we didn't make 24 maybe around 22 but that's fine because some is a little bigger than some and i'm going to do the cherries now and then we'll be putting them in the oven So I'm going to take it to the oven now. The oven has been heating up on about 350 and it's already at the temperature that I need. So I'm just going to put it in there for around 30 to 40 minutes. That's it. So it's finished now. I'm going to take it out of the oven and I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's already Trinidad style drops. Enjoy. If you like my recipe, please subscribe and like. And if you need to know more stuff, just send me a message and I'll gladly be able to do it for you.